you'll remember that the unification of sport in South Africa came in 1992. At that time, Chairperson, the Eastern Cape, especially Eastern Province itself, was one of the strongest provincial rugby. EP, when I said EP from the so-called colored people, Kwaru from the non-racial, they are very strong provincial teams, Chairperson, at that time. And then unification came. Just as we are starting unification, Chairperson, you'll understand that we started with the professionalism after the 1995 World Cup. If you can look backwards, Chair, at that time, we never have a single sponsor in that area. We know why. Some of the people also know why. But we keep on the flaming of rugby banning in that area. We produce a lot of players in that area with a minimum budget. We produce some coaches like we do now and sticks. Whilst we're doing that, Chairperson, we had about 120 clubs which are playing rugby in, the, in and out of weekends. Those clubs, Chairperson, they are traveling a minimum of 300 Ks to go and play rugby. And those clubs are subsidized by this Eastern Province rugby. And Chairperson, also in holding the union meeting in that area, you must pay about 100, plus minus 120 per a union meeting to bring all those delegates in. That's what we did, Chairperson. But it's just unfortunately, Chairperson, that those who are still in control of the economy of this country, they find it very difficult to support Eastern Province and border in that area. We've got big companies, which I'm not going to mention names here, but they are not keen to sponsor those provinces. We've got gold mine there, Chair, in terms of players. They just need to be Polish. But unfortunately, the, biz, the big business people, they don't want to assist us. I heard my dear friend when he said that there were monies which came from the metro, which is my district. And Chairperson, I don't think that is right. The metro, as we speak now, are not supporting us as Eastern Province Rugby, as we speak now. The people who are always promising are those who are coming from the other political parties to say that if you can take out the cheek, we can put money as we speak now. That is not our democracy. Our democracy is that, Chair, our clubs, constitutionally, they've got the right to put whoever they want in that position. But the point I wanted, basically, Chair, to respond on is that the Metro is not assisting us. It's got their own challenges. We've got three big <laughs> sporting code in that area, which is cricket and soccer. They don't get a cent also from the Metro. Us as management with my Honorable uh, Bergman at ASK, we know through South Africa, in all these stadiums which have been built for 2010, there are those companies which are running those uh, stadia so that they can generate funds. That's what access also is doing in that area. 